check the oil level. Reinsert it. And let's see. The oil level is perfect. It is fine. Well, this thing came apart after attempting to clean the float. As you can see here, after being in the car for so long and so many miles, I think the problem with the sensor is this float right here. And unfortunately, uh, Lexus doesn't make this part anymore. And I'm gonna find an alternative to see what I can do. Meanwhile, I'm gonna test this. Um, just to have a reference here. Um, okay, so I connected two uh, of the um, alligator clips in here and I put a, a small piece of cardboard in the middle so that the tips don't touch each other. The first test is we're gonna test this float on the down position and the up position. And they both are supposed to return a um, continuity. So let's turn this on and they do on the downside and on the upside. And this is at room temperature so this is emulates when you first turn on the car and the engine oil is uh, cold and this thing is submerged in the oil. In this scenario, when the temperature reaches above 131 degrees Fahrenheit and the float is up, there's still continuity, which means no dash light. But when the float goes above the water and it goes down and the temperature is above 131 degrees, there is no continuity. And this is what they call false positive. There is no continuity continuity in, and the dash light will come on if this thing is in a down position, which means it's above the oil level. You can see when the oil level sensor is inside the liquid, in this case, I'm just using water, the float is in the up position. Check with Lexus and uh, since they don't make this part from the 1990 Lexus LS400, they do make the this one, which is from 98 to 2000, and uh, everything fits in this uh, configuration. And uh, the only thing that is different is the connection. And just for that, Lexus said this doesn't fit 1990. Well, why did they even change the connection? So anyway, I'm looking for a pigtail that would fit this. I can connect it to the wiring harness of my 1990. Found the pigtail on eBay and uh, connected it and it, it's perfect. And on this side, I went ahead and uh, attached these connectors so I can connect this side of it to the wiring harness. Meanwhile, what I wanted to do is check the continuity here and uh, make sure I haven't uh, lost anything. Here's the voltmeter. All right, it's all good. All right, this is the location of the sensor. And as you can see, it's right above the oil drain plug and uh, it's right up here. I'm not sure if I can show you the the bolts on it. It's uh, there are four bolts on there. Um, as far as the wiring goes, I connected the brown wire to the black and white. I'm guessing that's the ground wire, and yeah, yellow and red. And then I connected that to the red and with the gray stripes. 
and um, I'm gonna put the she uh, heat shield over it. And I noticed that the uh, the wiring harness section is just cracking. It's really the shield that's cracking. So I'll be wrapping electric wire tape over it by itself before I put it all together. In taking out the sensor, I did have to uh, kind of loosen their, uh, their aluminum. And then if you notice down here, you see a connection. And let me get it focused here.